Oh hi, thanks for watching my video. So today we are going to be doing a bit of a nice video. I guess you could call it a storyline, I mean it's not like a challenge or anything. Today we're going to be righting the wrongs of my video's past. <laughs> See, I'm quite into experiments. I like to test how various aspects of the game works. And sometimes that involves being a bit cruel to these little pixel people. And over the last few months, maybe six months, I can't remember exactly how long, I've done a couple of experiments that have been based on what happens, like what are the consequences of parents treating their children a certain way. How does it impact their self-esteem? How does it impact their character values? I mean, mainly it was an experiment to test how far, how much of an impact it makes. Like, what, what really is the point of the parenthood pack and what really is the point of the um, confidence system? So I had one video where I had a sim who had a sibling and her parent was really nice to one of the children and then just basically ignored the other one to see how that would impact their character values and how much it would impact their confidence. And that child was Max. Here she is right now, Max Turner. And then the other video didn't involve any siblings. It didn't involve treating one child one way and another child another way. The other one was just what, how does it impact a child aging up if they have a really difficult dynamic with their family and all of their interactions and negative interactions. And that child was Lacey. So, as promised, I thought it would be quite a nice idea, seeing as both of these ladies had a pretty difficult childhood, be a nice idea to get them grown up, they are now young adults, and give them a better life. So if you haven't seen the two earlier experiment videos, maybe this one won't make too much sense to you. But there have been a few changes since the first experiments. Lacey, um, as you can see, is still unfortunately facing some of those demons from her childhood. She's pretty embarrassed. I think she's just trying to hide under the covers. So she, she did grow up with quite low self-esteem. So she kind of has a bit of a disadvantage compared to other Sims. They both had a pretty similar upbringing, I guess. Difficult relationships with their parents. But since their childhood years, they both went to college. That's actually how they met. So they both have degrees. They became friends, a little bit more than friends, actually. They don't have a particularly strong romantic relationship. They are just lovebirds. But it was enough to convince them to move in together. So they live in this cute little house in Newcrest. Quite a nice house. So basically, the main objective of today is to just give them a nice life. Get them some good jobs. They worked hard in college for it. Maybe try and build up their relationship a little bit. I think probably the first step, though, is to find a job. So Lacey's degree is in drama, so I'm thinking maybe she could be a comedian or something, because that would be really useful for someone with low self-esteem. But Max, she actually ended up, she studied language and literature. She's a really good writer, so she is going to become an author. Even got a signing bonus. Congratulations, Max. And Lacey, I think we'll get you a career as well. And then maybe I might just have you give yourself a pep talk so you can get out of this embarrassed mood. Let's go for comedian. There we go, another signing bonus. Okay, Lacey, you go check in with yourself. Max, maybe you could check in with yourself as well? I think it would be quite nice to follow their wants as well. That's why I've just enabled my wants and fears. So you have a want, Lacey, to leave a note for someone. So I'm just gonna have you come write a note for Max, maybe a little love note or something. And then seen as, I mean, I've noticed when they've like socialized a little bit that they tend to have awkward encounters, which I can only assume could be from the low self-esteem, maybe? So I might just have them do something indirectly romantic, like maybe have a cosy night in. Max, go read that note that was left for you. Have a little cosy night in, watch a romance movie or something. Was it a nice note, Max? <laughs> a nice note. Oh, those notes were so sweet. Oh, isn't that nice? Okay, so let's watch a movie. We'll watch Cinder with Lacey. Lacey, sit down. They seem kind of annoyed, kind of annoyed by this movie. What about, um, Snuggle? Why don't you Snuggle and watch the movie? Then you might enjoy it a bit more. Uh-oh, that didn't go down well. Oh no. Maybe we just need to try and get this a little bit more flirty. Tickle mercilessly? Can we try tickling mercilessly? I kind of feel like those experiment videos, we're kind of getting an insight into, um, the impact of them now as adults. How difficult they find it to, like, interact with each other. They do feel a deep connection though, which is quite sweet. 
What about if they go in for their first kiss? Will they, will she turn her down? I mean, they turned down the snuggles, but I don't think I've ever seen a sim turn down a first kiss before. Oh, there we go. Oh, you guys. Okay, should we go watch that movie again? I mean, it says they're having a steamy exchange, but neither of them are flirty. What about if we tease flirtatiously now that we're under a steamy exchange? Could we maybe change that to a flirty mood? Seems like it's going down well. What about a makeout sesh? Okay, they're both flirty. Wonderful. Oh, cuddle while watching movie. Let's do that. I knew these two would find love. Mainly because you guys told me you wanted them to in the comments. <laughs> Although, to be fair, I feel like it was Lacey's idea because she did age up with a pride flag. So I feel like she kind of told me what her destiny would be. Oh, look at them. Looking deeply into each other's eyes. Cute, cute. They're very pretty sims as well. I didn't even change much when I aged them up. I literally just changed their clothing, but that's their actual faces. And that's just based off of their parents' genetics. Aren't they good-looking sims? Well, now that we've watched our romantic movie, I think we should end the night with a cheeky woohoo. Neither of them have woohooed before. I think she's asking the question. That looks like a yes to me. Oh, uh, just goes to show, don't it? People bond over shared experiences, shared misery. Nice onesie, Lacey. What time do they first have work? So Lacey's first job, so Lacey's first day at work is at 5 p.m. tomorrow. Oh wait, no, tonight. And Max, oh, Max has got two days off. Oh, very nice, very nice. I think they're both gonna, I know you're tired, Max. Why don't you, um, actually, I'll tell you what, tell you what. Go and take a shit and then go to sleep. Lacey, your needs are kind of, your needs are fine, so you may as well just go to sleep. Yeah, so I think what we'll do is we'll do like a good mixture of a little bit of skill building, a little bit of working on our careers, progressing our relationship, filling a few wants, maybe a bit of going out, a bit of socialising. Good night, Max. Okay, it's a new day. Lacey, let's have you fill your knees. Go to the bathroom, grab some leftovers, and then Max, maybe you could get some leftovers when you wake up as well. So Max, what would you like to do today? Become inspired... Make another sim happy. Oh, that's so sweet. And eat food. Okay, well, she's done that. What about you, Lacey? What do you want to do today? Eat food. Volunteer with family. Leave a note for someone. Do you want to leave a note for Max every day? Okay, fine. You can leave a note for Max. Maybe you guys can go volunteering. Oh, she wants to get inspired. So maybe she could just go take a thoughtful shower. Hygiene's getting low anyway. Two birds, one stone. And then, Lacey, you write your little love note. She wants to stay sad for two hours. We're going to ignore that one, Lacey. This is supposed to be about being happy. It's supposed to be about making up for the experience you had in the last video. Okay, how about... How about we go and volunteer like you guys wanted to? What would be a good one? Um, bake sale? Maybe? It'd be good if you actually gained some kind of cooking skill or even a baking skill from doing this. But no, no, that would be... That would make too much sense for this game. Okay, you guys are back. So she does want to hug someone, so I'm going to have you come and hug Max. And then I think, because you have work at, yeah, four hours. So one thing that I think might be good, maybe if we head out, maybe we'll practice some material and uh, Max can come and cheer us on. We can go tell some jokes at one of the lounge bars or something just before we have work. Stargazer Lounge, let's go there. I see she's got something that mourn the dead from being gloomy for a split second. I knew it wouldn't have been, but for a split second I thought maybe she would have a want for her mum to die. Okay, go tell some jokes and then Max, I'm going to have you come over here so you can watch and cheer Lacey on because I don't think there's going to be much of a crowd. So at least if she has one person, come and watch performance, Max. Oh, there is another sim over here laughing though. Oh, look at her, she's cheering her on, punching the air. Oh, they're so supportive of each other. Max, maybe get dressed. I mean, we don't want to don't take all the attention away from Lacey onto you. There we go. Maybe while Lacey's telling some jokes, we can, um, we can get the drinks in. Order drinks for the group. Something to take the edge off. We won't have nectar because that's Lacey's mum's favourite drink and that's going to remind her of her mother. So we'll get something, something a little bit more special. What kind of sentiments do they have for each other now? Oh, just closer from happy memories. Oh, they're still just lovers though. They're not like soulmates or anything yet. Oh yeah, lot of chocolata. This is our mother. You're an outcast. Your dastardly deeds have alienated you from polite society, but we don't care about all that. We care about results. 
No, I will decline. Mum's trying to bring us into some kind of crime ring. You taking your you taking Lacey's drink over to her or are you just gonna drink both of them? Okay, well, Lacey's gonna go to work soon anyway, so let's just head back home. We managed to get out of the house for a little bit. We had a few drinks, did a bit of stand-up. So I have an idea. Um, seeing as Lacey's gotta go to work anyway, Max doesn't really like hanging around on her own, so why don't we just invite someone over? And maybe we can have a little games night or something? Oh, here she is. Invite in. Hey, look who it is. It's our sister, Carissa. You wanna come play some games, Carissa? Might be good, actually, before she goes to work for Lacey to come... Oh, not, not flirty, not flirty. For Lacey to come and do uh, an introduction. Meet Carissa, say hello. What should we play? Party Frenzy? Have a little chit-chat while we're playing with Carissa. Why not? We've got a good relationship now. In case you don't know, Carissa was the uh, loved child in the household they grew up in. But luckily, as they grew up, they realised it wasn't each other that was the problem, it was just the parent. So they're really good friends now. Is there an option for me to ask her what she thinks of our partner? Now that she's met Lacey, I kind of want to see what, what her opinions are. I think we're going to ask her if she wants to expand the family, but I don't think Carissa's interested. As wonderful as that sounds, I'm not in a position where I feel comfortable doing that at the moment. Yeah, she doesn't even have, like, a partner or anything. Understandable. Well, you do have a want to write a book, and I did say that we would try and fulfill some of your wants, so maybe we will write a book. Let's just write a short story. Well, it was great having you over, Carissa, but you kind of outstayed your welcome now, so I'm just going to send you home. Let Max concentrate, focus on writing her book. Lacey will be home in a couple of hours. When do you have work now? 1pm tomorrow. Oh shit, you finished- you wrote an entire book in one sitting. So much time has passed that Carissa has both left and turned up again. I guess she can come in. Overachiever? That is such a good new personality trait to have, considering our history. Yes, we will be an overachiever and we'll go and publish our book. Oh, good for you, Max. The most recent book that Max wrote has been nominated for an award. <gasps> Very nice. All right, Carissa, well, seeing as you're here, should we just go stargaze? Watch the stars? Just realize they both have the super parent aspiration. I don't think we'll be having babies in this video, but we could get the ball rolling. Maybe we could have like a proposal or something. Oh, well done, Lacey. You feel intense? Why don't you just go play a game then? Go play Party Frenzy. I bet you did a great job though. Excellent performance. Okay, Carissa, I know that you love hanging out with us, but I am gonna need you to go home now. You are kind of overstaying your welcome. We've hung out with you twice now today. It's been fun, but you gotta go home at some point. You're still stressed from work. How can I get you to de-stress? Calm down, maybe? Take a look in the mirror, calm yourself down. Oh, actually, I know what could help you de-stress. Woohoo with Max. Maybe just turn the TV off, there we go. I love these two as a couple. They just balance each other out so well, I think. Their lives were so similar, but they're different enough to make just a, a really good couple, I think. Oh, Lacey has a want to get into a relationship and also stargaze with Max. Okay, well then let's just wake them both up. Ask to stargaze and then maybe while it's all romantic and we're outside looking at the stars, maybe we'll ask Max if she wants to be our girlfriend. She is still tense though from work. Oh well, hopefully when that wears off in like an hour, they won't, she, it won't come back and she won't be stressed again. Ah, oh, so romantic. Ask to be girlfriend. Oh, I think that's a yes. Lacey just became the girlfriend of Max and Max just became the girlfriend of Lacey. How are our needs doing? Pretty good. Yeah, they're both fine. Well, I kind of feel like we've set these two up for success. They're definitely in a much happier position than they were the last time we left them off. They both have good jobs, very bright careers, bright futures. They found love in one another. They're in a relationship. Max managed to heal her relationship with her sister. So I kind of feel like these two kind of got what they deserved in the end. And on that note, I think I'm gonna end this video here. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.